like never before Search around, sky or ground, you never know what's in store Explore, explore, explore Explore, explore, explore Hey fellow explorers, today we're going to talk about colors And not just colors in terms of this is a blue thing, this is a white thing, this is a red thing We're talking about colors like the color wheel that shows things like tertiary colors and primary colors and secondary colors and shading and tinting and complementary colors. There's so many things about colors that we don't know. And today I'm going to teach you all about that. So sit back, relax, and I'll talk to you more in one second. Hey, fellow explorers, look around you. What do you see? A beautiful, colorful world everywhere. Look up in the sky, I look over here, I look over here, I look down here, I look everywhere I look, I see colors. Like here, yellow, pink, and blue. The flowers are purple. The leaves are green. Everywhere I see colors. Look at my shirt. It's red with the blue sleeve. Everything is colorful. But did you know that colors can fall into two basic categories? There are subtractive colors and there are additive colors. Now what's the difference? Well, again, everything I just showed you is a subtractive color. And why is that? Because it's physical. You can touch it. Anything you can touch, like these flowers, my shirt, this, that has a base of white that you can't see. But the base is white. And what happens when you add, you add color to it, you're subtracting away from the white. So the more color you add to it, the darker it gets. And basically, if you add all the colors at once, you end up with black or something close to black. So Anything that's physical, like print, is a subtractive color. But light, on the other hand, you can't touch light, and that is an additive color. That is called additive because it starts off with black. For example, night. So you have a dark room, and what happens when you turn on the light switch? You're adding color to the darkness. So you're adding light to that. So basically, if you put all the colors of light together, you get white. So you're adding all the colors together, you get white. That's an additive color. The rainbow in the sky. When you see a rainbow after it rains, that is an additive color. The blue in the sky, that's an additive color. Now the clouds are white, but they're actually white from rain droplets, so that is a subtractive color, believe it or not. So, now here's something. When you watch your computer monitor or your TV set, what do you see? You're actually seeing light being emitted from the screen. You're seeing RGB, red, green, blue lights, little dots on your screen that combine together to make all the other colors that you see. So those are all additive colors. On your screen, you're watching additive colors. You're watching light. But when you want to print something out that you see on your screen, I want to print this out to my printer. Guess what? The paper is physical. You can touch it. So that makes it a subtractive color. That's right. You knew. You guessed it. So how do you convert what you see on the screen from RGB to a print color, a subtractive color? Well, the printer takes those RGB, those red, green, blue colors, and they convert it to something that's called CMYK. The C stands for cyan, it's like a bluish green color. The M stands for magenta, which is kind of like a pinkish color. The Y is yellow, and the K stands for black. So those four colors, cyan, magenta, yellow, and black, are the four colors that all the printers mix together to make all the colors you see. So that's why when you print something off your, off your computer screen, it doesn't always match what comes out in the printer because when you're converting from RGB to CMYK, there's no perfect comparison. Additive colors, light, are much brighter than what you can get physically. So CMYK is going to be a little bit off, not quite as bright, not quite as vibrant as the colors you see on the screen. So be aware of that. But now you know, you learned something new. Additive and subtractive colors, CMYK, RGB, is awesome. Colors are awesome. And there's more to learn about colors. Now I'll teach you all about that in one moment. Hey, fellow explorers, welcome back again. Guess what? I brought back the color wheel. The color wheel shows us the combination of colors as they go around and it shows three types of colors. You have your basic primary colors, you have your secondary colors, and you have your tertiary colors. Now I'll explain all those later on, but right now though, I want to talk about a subject called hue, tint, tone, and shade. Those four types of theories and colors are as such. This is your basic blue, red, and yellow. And as I mentioned in the color wheel, there are three types of colors. Well, these are one of them. These are the primary colors. Red, red, blue, and yellow are the three primary colors. And 
all the other colors around here are what's called the primary colors, the secondary, and the tertiary together are what's called hues. A hue are your basic color wheel colors. Untainted, unmixed, they're just pure, pure colors they're called hues from the color wheel. Now, here's something that's not on the color wheel. These are the neutral colors. White and black and gray, neutral gray. Now, 100% white, 100% black, and gray, neutral gray, is actually exactly 50% black, half black, and 50% white, which is half white. So half black and white, you get this kind of neutral gray. Now, why is that important to know, the neutral colors? Because when you take the colors on the color wheel, and you add these neutral colors, then you get the, the concepts of tinting, toning, and shading. Let me show you. For example, here is purple. Now this is actually on the color wheel. This is a secondary color. It's a mixture of blue and red. And it's very vibrant, very colorful, very bright. And it might be too bright. So what you can do is you can actually tint it. You add white to it. So you add white and it's purple. And sometimes purple is called violet, by the way. Just so you know, if you hear the word violet, it just means purple. But when you add the two together, then you're tinting it down. And what you're getting is what's called a pastel, actually. A pastel color is, you see around Easter time, it's kind of these lighter colors. So this is sort of a light version of purple. So it's actually purple with white, and it's, it's, it's a tinted purple, a tinted violet. And that's what you get. You get a light, a pastel purple. And again, at Easter time, it's perfect. You see lots of pastel colors, pastel blue, pastel green. They all look like kind of faded colors, kind of light faded. It's kind of like a faded purple a little bit, but it's just light. So what it is, it's just, again, it's just white with whatever color, and that's, that's tinting. So that's called tinting. You add white to a color, you're tinting it. Now next, you have what's called Toning it. And what is tone? Well, tone is, again, you take, you take your neutral gray, it's half black, half white, and this is what we use when we tone a color. So toning is, for example, here is, let's take these colors right here. We have green, a nice vibrant green. This is on the color wheel as well. This is also a secondary color. It's a combination of yellow and blue. It's a secondary color. So the two primary colors of yellow and blue make this one, make secondary color green. Now this is a nice vibrant color, but if you want to make it not quite so vibrant, but not, not faded like the purple and the violet got faded, but just a little bit toned it down. You just want to tone it down a little bit so it's not quite so vibrant. Then you add the neutral gray, and what you get is this one. So it's not, it's not a pastel color, but it's a toned down green. It's a toned down green. So sometimes the differences are kind of subtle, but this is a toned down green. It's not a, it's not a pastel. It's not tinted. It's toned. You can see the difference is it's, it's still green, but it's not quite, not quite as bright. That's the difference, not quite as bright. It's not faded, it's not, not, not pastel, but it's not quite, it's just toned down. And that's the difference. And then after this, I'll show you next what's called a shading. So let's take a look at the shadings. So this is black, again. So now, so shading involves black. When you add black to something, you're shading it. So here we have a nice goldenrod kind of color. And this actually is also on the color, but this is actually more of a kind of an orangey yellow, which is actually a tertiary color. This is actually a tertiary orange yellow. But anyway, we call it goldenrod. I'll call it goldenrod. So now, if you add black to it, you want to shade it down, what you're doing is you're actually making it darker. So if you add black to this, you get this darker shade right here. So you see, now we, sh so shading it takes a, takes a bright color and actually makes it kind of dark, a little bit darker. So that's shading. So the difference now between tinting and toning and shading or tinting, you add white to it, makes it kind of, kind of a faded pastel look. Toning is you're adding a neutral gray to it and you're making it not quite so vibrant. So, so something that pops out, so really, really bright, you can, you can add a little tone to it and it'll still be a nice, nice dark color, but, but not quite as vibrant. And then with shading, you're adding black to it and you're actually making it darker. Those are the three ways to adjust colors. And you see that all the time, all around. You'll see it's not just there are three colors, there are three different types of colors. There are tinted, shaded, and toned colors. But hue, remember, hue is the, the basic color. The basic color is hue. That's on the color wheel, the basic. Your primaries, your secondaries, and tertiaries, the basic pure colors are hues, okay? So now it's a lot to think about, a lot to, to discuss. Sit back, try to, try to figure it all out, and I'll see you again in one moment. Hey, guys, be back. Hey, fellow explorers, I'm back, and I'm back with my color wheel. It keeps on rolling along. I love the color wheel. So I promised you that I've explained the primary, the secondary, and the tertiary colors, and I'm going to do it right now. Here we go. So what do we see? Well, first we have the primary colors. There are three primary colors. There is yellow, 
there is blue, and there is red. And as you can see, they're kind of evenly spaced around the color wheel. Now, those are pure colors unmixed. But what happens if you mix them together? Mix together the primaries, then you get secondaries. So, what are the secondaries? Well, if you take the blue and the yellow, and you mix them together, what do you get? You get green. Blue and yellow make green. Green is the secondary color. What happens if you take the blue and the red and mix those together? Then you get purple, or sometimes it's called violet. Well, what happens if you mix the red and the yellow? Then what happens? Well, now you get orange. So purple, orange, and green are secondary colors. They're the mixtures of the primaries. But here's something. What if you take a primary and a secondary, crazy as it may sound, and you mix them together? It's like a Frankenstein experiment. What do you get? Well, you get a tertiary color. A tertiary. So these are tertiaries. For, for example, so you have yellow here, and you have red over here, right? So if you take, and this in the middle is their, their secondary. So, so the primaries of red and yellow make this secondary orange. But what happens if you take the secondary orange and this primary yellow? Well, then you get yellow orange. Or this primary red and secondary orange, you get orange red, right? And you go all the way around, so the ter tertiaries are basically, you have red orange, yellow orange, you have yellow green, you have blue green, you have blue purple or blue violet, and you have red violet or sometimes called magenta. And that, those are all, so there are actually, there are six tertiary colors, three secondary colors and three primary colors. Three, three, and six equals twelve, so our color wheel has 12 colors. A color wheel will always have 12 colors. You have three primaries, three secondaries, and six tertiary colors. And now you know all about the color wheel. Well, fellow sports, it's that time in the video when it's time to say goodbye. But before we do, what do we always do? The explore roar. So guys, let's make the X on our chest for explore and then let it all out. Ready? Explore! And look for my videos next week. Look for explore. How do you spell it? X-S-P-L-O-O-R, Explore. And hit my subscribe button. I need all the subscribers I can get. All right, guys, I'll see you next week with some more fun videos. Bye-bye. Now once more with Explore, we've done learning the lore. Explore, explore, explore. Hey, fellow explorers. I need subscribers to stay on the air, so please hit that subscribe button down below. Thank you. See you next time, fellow explorers. Take care.